All right, all right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? As you can see, we're here with some risk of rain. However, however, there's going to be a difference today. Now, recently, I, came, I have become aware of a little event called AGDQ. Now, I probably should have talked about this or tweeted about this uh, back when it was actually happening because that was, you know, yeah, it would have been better. But hey, hindsight, etc., but basically, uh, for those of you that may not be aware, AGDQ is an event, is a yearly event where they just do a week of speed running, of speed running games. They stream it, and then you can donate to charity. They offer prizes and things. Um, and so, one of the featured games. Now, let me just talk about speed running really quickly in case some of you may not be aware. I don't know why you wouldn't be. But anyway, speed running is basically trying to beat a game as fast as humanly possible. Uh, this can be done, I mean, there's a bunch of different categories per game. This can be done using glitches, this can be done, uh, there are glitchless runs, there are 100% completion runs, there are any percent runs, etc. Cetera, et cetera. There's a bunch of different categories that you can take. One of the games that was featured there was Risk of Rain. Now, Risk of Rain isn't a very speed runny game in general. You can try to beat it as fast as possible, but there's no, like, there's no real way to truly optimize, uh, what you're trying to do, because... You just you have to find a teleporter. The te where the teleporter spawns is completely random. You don't know where it's gonna be, um, and so there's a lot of randomness inherent in it. But this person's risk of rain run that did it this past uh, event pissed me off for a few reasons. The first is that as you can see, this is really zoomed out. Now this is as far as I can zoom out for myself at the resolution I am set at. You can set it to a higher resolution and zoom it out even further. And this person did that and zoomed it out to a point where you really couldn't even see anything. Like, to a point where it wasn't even worth watching because it was zoomed out so far. That's annoying. The second thing they did, they played on Rainstorm difficulty, which is the average normal difficulty. I'm gonna play on hard because a true man should be able to beat this damn game on hard. Now, I understand the reasoning why, because um, on hard, there's a, f there's a few countdowns mandatory clocks that like once you trigger something it counts down a certain amount of time and all of those timers are higher so like for instance the teleporters when you activate a teleporter on normal mode it takes 90 seconds for that to activate versus on monsoon difficulty it takes 120 seconds in the end to open up doors it takes uh, 30 seconds on rainstorm difficulty 45 seconds on monsoon and so obviously when you're trying to do something fast, those extended timers are going to give you a lesser, t I mean, a, a longer time. However, I'm looking at it at the point that that is mandatory time, so it's not really, like, affecting the run specifically. And then the third thing they did, they used this artifact right here? No, right here. Command. Items are no longer random. That takes out the joy of it. That takes out the fun of it. That basically makes it so that it is almost impossible to lose because you get exactly what you want. Almost. Now, there's still some randomness to it, depending, like, you know, the different levels of drops that can happen, so maybe you may not get the most powerful items. But you're still going to pretty much be getting the items you want. That takes the fun out of it. That takes the enjoyment out of it. A game like this should be fun, and it should be challenging. It shouldn't be like, oh, let me just beat this as fast as possible and guarantee it. And so that's actually why I'm using glass, is because glass is a double-edged sword. Uh, it's not like command where it's basically a 100% positive for you. Glass makes it so that basically if you get touched, you die. That's it. Like, that's it. If you get touched, you're dead. There is always an inherent risk of dying with glass on. So, I'm gonna, so, with all of that said, let's just jump right into it and see whether or not I can succeed. Maybe not. Why are you not working? That might not be good. Why is my controller... Like, not... My controller isn't working. Hang on a second. Hang on. There we go. We just had to take it out and plug it back in, I guess. Okay, so this is actually good. This is good that I started on um, one side of the screen. Because it makes it so that the worst is when you get spawned directly in the middle of the screen. Ow. See? <laughs> oh, that's the other thing he used. He used a, uh, he used the artifact. There's, there are artifacts that speed you up. 
when you get to low, like the lower your health gets, the faster your character gets. I'm gonna use that as well, which is just again, why? Why you gotta use that? But yeah, getting spawned in the middle is the worst because then obviously if you go to the right and the teleporter is on the left, like you, you're fucked right there. Like it's just it's over. Sucks to be you. So I'm just meandering up here. Monster Tooth, that is a very good first drop. Certainly can't complain about that. So as you can see, I used his abilities to dodge, but I can also also just chill here, and they can't hit me. Oh my god! Whoa, what the hell? Why didn't my ability work? Oh, 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 my bad, I almost fucked up. Alright, so I got a very good drop there. That is a bot. That's actually one that you can't get normally. It's oh, it's a boss specific one. Damn it! And as you can see, it's leaving behind a path of destruction behind me. Not really. Oh shit! There's an enemy there. I didn't even see him. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that, why not? That could be useful for boss killing. This actually isn't going very well. I'm not used to using a melee character. That's I'm actually using the mercenary because this is the first time I've used him. So I am going to be a tidbit on the slow side, thanks to that. Because like I said, I'm, just, I'm not used to... Uh... So I'm gonna actually have to go all the way down, right? Yep. Yep, yep. May as well get this drop while I'm here. Never mind, fuck that. <gasps> oh, spike strips are the worst! I'm gonna go ahead and just try and grab this, just because, why not? Um, spike strips, for those of you that may not be aware, one of the worst drops in the game. And the reasoning for that is that it actually causes, like, it drops an item behind and it leaves it there. Every single time you get hit. And so, once you get to the last level, it causes massive, massive slowdown because of all the stuff that's on the screen, plus the amount of spike strips that you're leaving behind. It is just... It is no bueno. And so, that is actually the main cause. Like, if you play the game and it crashes, it is incredibly likely that it is because you picked up a spike strip. I'm not doing very much damage to these guys. Yeah. Oh, there it is. I almost missed it. Oh god, oh god, okay. We're good. So this boss actually kind of sucks in that... Like, the main boss is not difficult at all. Unless that fucking happens. It becomes a problem when that fucking happens. However, the main problem with this boss... Is what just happened right there when you kill him uh, he leaves behind a few enemies that hurt a lot and so he's actually he's really not that dangerous when you are first hitting him like by himself he's not he's just he's not really anything worth mentioning but when you kill him is when he's the most dangerous is because he leaves behind those dudes and they can they can kill you immediately like if you don't get out of the way fast enough you're dead plain and simple I 
so I need to move. At some point in time, I need to go upward. Because if I don't, there are enemies up there that I will be leaving behind. So I'm actually going to go ahead and do that now. These dudes can just chill. Okay, and hopefully, damn it. I was going to say hopefully a bunch more don't spawn, but unfortunately it doesn't look like that's in the car. So I'm going to just go ahead and grab this. Well, that's nice. That has the chance of giving us... In case you can't read that. Because I am still zoomed out a little bit, but... Shit. Please don't spawn anything new. Please don't spawn anything new. Please, 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 please. Shh, you suck. I asked so nicely. I'm definitely over uh, what I want to be in terms of, like, timing for everything. Uh, in general, you kind of want... Oh my god, where did that dude come from? I'll try one more time, huh? In general, you want to be kind of around two and a half minutes. 30 seconds to find the teleporter. Ooh. 30 seconds to find the teleporter and then, um... Two minutes, obviously, kind of mandatory period of the teleporter going off. That's generally what you want, and I am averaging like three and a half, almost. No teleporter over here, okay. And that's where, obviously, the problem comes in. And that's why everything, like, you know, when you are, that's why command is, and I understand the reason why, you know, they use command, because speedruns are all about optimizing how fast you can run it. Like, it's not about... There's no, like, pride involved. There's no, oh, well, I did it this way. But it's like, no, I still, I don't care how you did it. I still did it faster this way. So I do understand. Like, I'm not trying to say it's absolute nonsense that they're using those. Command definitely does give a very real advantage. Because all of these items that I have right now, like, none of them are particularly awful. That's the one thing that I really like about Risk of Rain in general is it's not like Binding of Isaac or other games where like a lot of the items you can get are just completely useless like they serve no purpose other than to take up space almost every item that you get is a good item I am dead <laughs> so just like that that's what happens alright so I am actually not going to use the mercenary here. I'm going to try out the Huntress because I actually have not used the Huntress before. And everybody says she's really good. And the reason why she's actually really good is because she's one of the few characters that can attack while still maintaining momentum. She can still move while attacking. Oh, it's not. I don't need to worry about them. They'll despawn. And so as you saw with the mercenary, I had to stop for every... Well, what the hell? I don't know how she started to climb down that ladder. The one downside is she doesn't really have a remarkably quick kind of like move. I mean, as you saw, I used that and it's decent. Obviously, I mean, it gives you some sort of momentum. So it's not all that bad, but other characters get faster movement options. So unfortunately, it looks like this is going to be a bad start. Because I don't think the teleporter can actually get all the way down there. That's the one thing I should learn is, like, spots that the teleporter cannot go no matter what. Like, the teleporter will never be in whatever area. Oh, it's right there. If I had just gone a little bit more to the right, I would have seen it and not wasted all that time. But as you can see, she can also fire in the opposite direction. Oh! Okay, we're going to ret retry that. I thought, I thought I was going to fall fast enough, but I didn't. Ooh, see, this is why I like glass. Like, sure, I am failing miserably. I am making a true embarrassment of myself. And it's fun like that. It requires me to be on the ball. And I like that. It's not just like this casual stroll in the park. It's definitely a real challenge. Oh, my God. Why is that not hurting him? That was odd. 
Okay, so it's not up there. And that's why it sucks to get spawned in the middle of the map. If I had gone left, I would have found it. If I had, But now I did not. I went right and I wasted time. That's not bad. I can't ever really complain about something that allows you to heal faster. Although, to be fair, there's never really should be a point in time where I am standing still for two seconds. Alright, so I'm going to guess Wandering Vagrant. Hmm? Hmm? Yeah! So I'm gonna let all that stuff spawn down there. This boss is actually pretty trivial. Until she fires the incorrect direction. Whoa, one of those hit me. So this is actually a really nice item. As you can see, it just it goes and kills things for me. So I want to head upwards after I kill this jellyfish. It's also quite fast, too, as you can see. Same thing. wonder why that didn't do any damage to the jellyfish. It looked like it hit it. Maybe it just, like, ran out of energy right before. Something like that. I don't know about the properties of this character. That's actually, I shouldn't have really used it, because the two characters that I think are used the most uh, in terms of what I see, now granted I haven't seen a whole lot of Risk of Rain footage, but when I do look at things like this, I would say the two most often used are the Huntress and the Bandit. And so that's actually why I kind of really haven't used the Huntress. Oh damn, that dude is hella far down there. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, man! Oh, it's one of these fucking things. That's the worst. There's nothing you can really do about that. Oh, what am I doing? I didn't even think of it. I would've saved- see, there's- there's speedrunning stuff. Stuff that you just gotta keep in your head. Always maximize your time. So there's nothing over here. I gotta get all the way to the edge to make sure. Because that has happened to me before. Where I've, like, I've been trying to explore. And so I think I see everything. But there's just one tiny little bit of the edge that I can't quite see. And that ends up being where the teleporter is. I wonder if that'll go all the... Oh my god, it will. How awesome. Oh, well, that's a great place to spawn the boss. That was remarkably close to where I was. Shit! I can't see on the ground. How the fuck? Alright, we're gonna try a different character. One more t one more try, one more try. Let me see. I wanna at least use somebody that I'm semi-decent with. Um, I'll use Acrid. This is my last shot. It's my last shot to not embarrass myself. I did one practice run of this um before I started this with it. I used the commando, but the commando's boring. He's like the most basic dude. I want to be no basic bitch. Ooh, teleport. Shit. The wandering Va I'm gonna go hang out up here because there's a bunch of upgrades. Boing. Okay, where is this? Oh, shit. 
Seriously, oh, I want that goat hoof. I am most certainly getting me that damn goat hoof. Oops. Very nice. Not nice at all. The problem now is I'm going to be spawning stuff all over the damn place. Trying to get to that. Yes. Spread. So as you can see, that mask, that summons ghosts whenever I kill something. So I actually thought those enemies over there were real enemies, but no, they were not. They were ghosts. My bad. So my ghost should kill that dude. I shouldn't really have to worry about him. But just in case, that'll spread. Now I can get out of that location, move closer to the teleporter. That's not bad. That does damage to everything that, uh is within my general vicinity. You can kind of see the circle around him. All right, God damn it! Ah, shit, I have to wait. I was hoping that thing would get close enough. So that's more like it. As you can see, we're only at 245. That's, mu that's a much better time in general. Just keeping an eye out. Yeah, but that's definitely the thing about using command. Like, I really do. Command really does kind of just guarantee your success. Command makes everything a lot easier. Ooh, there it is. Aww. Oh, that's a shame. That shrine right there that's right above me right now. Uh, those are called health shrines. I don't know why I'm going over here to that upgrade when I don't have the money for it. Do I have the money for it yet? Nope. Yes. Um, What those do is it takes health. Actually, I may not have even had... Because they don't... Later ones utilize percentage. But uh, for right now... They use total health, and so they're kind of set up to use, like, non-glass health, so I probably didn't even have enough health to be able to use them in the first place. But yeah, they, uh... They give very strong upgrades. Alright, problem, 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 problem. We're good, we're good, we're all good! We're great! No problems at all. So I'm actually not overly partial to the concussion grenade upgrade. Because what that does... So just to kind of... Oh my god. Just to kind of talk about Acrid for a bit. He is somewhat special in that... Um, a lot of upgrades actually don't really work with him. Um, Because a lot of upgrades boost your attack for... X reason, like whatever, like some it does something to boost something with your attacks, but those only work for active attacks. They don't work for all of Acrid's passive stuff. So like this attack right here, that is unaffected by a lot of things. Um, in his this thing, his little plague poison spreading thing, that is unaffected by a lot of things as well. And I got a second one. Cause why not? Seven more enemies. He's just no bueno. Hope they're not all the way down, because if they are, then I'm gonna have to end up going. They're not. Wait, yes. No? Where the hell's. Oh, all the way over there. Way the fuck over there. I gotta make sure. 
So yeah, so a lot of upgrades don't really work properly for Acrid. They only trigger off of this regular attack and this attack. And so they're kind of useless in general. Whereas a lot of them would be absolutely amazing, but for Acrid, they're not. So you definitely want more passive buffs for everything. Why the hell I use that one? I hate when that happens. Like, I guess I'm holding just slightly up when I move. So I'm probably gonna spend a lot of time on these rope ladders. Or I'm going to be moving up because I have to get to the boss. One of the two. Yeah, that's actually quite useful. Um, what that does is it... Every single time an enemy dies, there's a chance that it could explode on death. Which will do damage. Or there's a chance that I could just die. Because I'm going to be talking and not paying attention. And, 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 and shit. Shit. 